How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today we're going to be going over the Galaxy S3 Basics. This is a first time user's guide. If this is your first time using the Galaxy S3, I'm going to teach you all the basics from making calls to saving your contacts to sending text messages. We're going to keep it real simple. This is again for you first time users. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. First thing I want to show you is how to turn it on and off. Real simple. So um, on the left side of the S3, uh, excuse me, not left, right side, we have this, which is your power button as well as your standby button. So right now the S3 is off, so I'm just going to hold down the button, okay, and we're going to hold it until the phone's going to make a slight vibration and then you'll see Samsung pop up on the screen. And now it is turning itself on. This is a T-Mobile one, but it doesn't matter. The S3 is on multiple carriers, so if you're out of the Verizon, Sprint, uh, Metro PCS, whoever, it doesn't matter. All things we're going to show you are universal over all of the uh, S3s. And so while it's turning on, I just want to go over charging it really quickly. So you will get a charger. This is the end that does plug into your S3. This is called a micro USB charger. Okay. And guess what? When you're going to charge it, it charges right at the bottom so all you have to do is find your home button and the charging port is right underneath it right here so this end the end that has this little symbol on it does go in this way notice on the back there is no symbol so that's how you always know which way to plug this in so you're going to look for the the symbol this is a usb symbol and this just plugs right in just like that okay and then the other end is going to plug into your wall socket. So I'm going to plug that in. And so the way that you will know that your phone is charging is you will see a little lightning. Um, something popped up there. Don't worry about that. Um, you will see a little lightning bolt inside of the battery right here. Okay. If I unplug it, notice the lightning charger, the lightning symbol goes away. If I plug it back in it pops back up again so that's how you know your phone is charging okay so the next thing we're gonna go over so we did talk about how to turn it on which is simply holding down the power button the next thing we're gonna go over is how do you turn it off if you need to turn it off you're gonna hold down until this pops up device options and then you'll simply select power off or if you're getting on an airplane and you just need to put it on airplane mode, a lot of times they'll ask you to put your phone in a certain setting when you fly, you'll just tap airplane mode. Uh, the third option is reset. If you wanted to just turn off and turn right back on, you can do that. Notice you also get uh, some other helpful options if you're going into a meeting or a church service or you're going into work. Um, this is where you would also put it on vibrate or you could mute the phone. So to bring up that menu once again, we're going to just hold down on the power button. You hold it until the options pop up. And then you can select vibrate, mute. We can hold it again. And then we can go ahead and tap sound and then it will begin to make noise again. Another way to get to this is on the left side here there is a volume button. Okay. And if you turn this all the way down it will put it right into vibrate as well. Now this can be a little tricky. I just want to go over this real fast, not spend too much time with it. Even when it's on vibrate, if you're in an app that makes noise, sometimes the phone can still make some noise. So if you press the volume down and then tap this wheel, you want to make sure you turn your media down as well. And it, it goes away quick, so you got to do it fast. So down, wheel, and then we're going to just slide your finger to the left and now all the volume is totally off if that's not totally down your phone could still make some noise so I just wanted to bring that to your attention and make sure you know that And if you want to get that sound back up we can simply just press the volume and push it all the way up you just basically hold it and then now you see a little phone symbol here again when it's down this symbol it means vibrate when we hold it again the sound is back on it makes a little beep so that's kind of how you uh, put it on vibrate or put it on silent if you're going into a meeting to make sure your phone doesn't make any noise Okay, so so far we've gone over just the power button We've gone over our volume which is right over here the next thing if you did want to plug in some headphones at the very top 
this is the little jack right here where you would plug in uh, a set of headphones or a speaker if you didn't want to uh, get more volume out of the phone. Okay, so we've gone over that. The next thing we want to hit is um, how to make phone calls. Real simple. So we will go to the phone app, which is right here. Tap on there. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. So in the phone app, we have uh, some different options here. We have first, you really want to pay attention to these four options because these are pretty much how you navigate, how you get to different sections of, of making calls. This is the keypad section. When you want to dial someone's number, you have to hit keypad and make sure this comes up and then you can put in the phone number. So let's just put in a number for example. Um, that's um, President Lincoln's phone number from back in the day. Um, and then we can just tap this symbol right here, and this is to call that number. And it will begin to try to call, but this phone isn't active, so it will not let us make that call. But that is how you would make a phone call, okay? Now, we this is also useful for another thing, which is if someone is trying to give you their number for you to save it in your phone, this is where you would save their number as well. So, for example, let's say we want to save a phone number to the phone. We would put in the number. put in President Lincoln's number again because it's just a helpful number and um, in fact let's actually put a different number in let's put in so we put in a fresh number notice right underneath it now it says add to contacts so if we tap add to contacts it will now ask us hey do you want to create a new contact And a contact is this a fancy word for um, do you want to save that number to your phone okay so we're gonna tap create contact and then um, for you, you'd want to just tap device. And then it already puts the phone number in there. So all you have to do is just put in the name. So I'm going to put in Lincoln. And so now we have the name and we have the phone number as well. You can also add someone's email address by simply tapping where it says email address. And then you could type in their email. And then let's say if you wanted to add any more information, you could tap add another field. You could also add their organization, their address, a nickname, website. You can, you can add all type of things to their uh, contact information. After that, you'd press OK, and then we would save it. And now that number is saved in our phone book. So notice when we dial that, it will show up as Lincoln. Okay. Um, next, we have... This is your call log. So right here is keypad. Then we have the log. And this will show you all your previous phone calls. So if someone calls you and maybe they didn't leave their phone number, you can look at it. A lot of times it will show up in your call log. The next thing we have is favorites. And we have no favorites right now. So let me show you how to save someone to your favorites. Because once you begin to save a lot of people in your phone, there's still are going to be a handful of people you're going to call often and you may want to just get right to their phone number. So to do that, you want to go to contacts. And notice there's only a couple of uh, names in here, but we just created our Lincoln contact. So we're going to tap Lincoln because that's when we want to save as a favorite. Here's what we're going to do. In the upper right corner right here, there's a star. If you tap the star, it will now make Lincoln a favorite. So watch this. I'm going to go back and I'm going back simply by just pressing this arrow right here, which is our back arrow. It takes us back one step. And then now I can go to favorites and guess who should be in there? Lincoln. You see that? So that's how you save someone as a favorite in your phone. Now for you guys who have a lot of people in your contacts already, you can just tap right where it says search. If you tap and then type in the person's name first, then it'll sort through and get right to the person you want to save. Okay, so that's a little bit of how the phone works. Once you're finished and you want to get back to your main screen, you are going to press the um, big button right here, which is our home button. Press that one time and that will take us back here. So we've gone over how to make calls. The next thing we want to go over is, um, actually before we get off the call section, let's talk about how we check our voicemail because that's also very important. So we will tap the phone 
Now some carriers do this a little differently. Some of them have a special app that you use to check voicemail. But um, if you don't have that special app or no one has explained that to you, basically uh, on the phone section, you want to make sure you're in the keypad first. Just tap on keypad. And then right down here, there's a tape. This is the symbol for voicemail. So if we tap this, the phone will automatically call the voicemail. And once you call the voicemail, then it'll it'll ask you some questions about setting up your voicemail, and then it'll let you actually get in and check your voicemail. So, um, but really, it's just by pressing that little symbol right there. That's how you uh, check your voice messages. Okay. Now we're going to hit our home button again, so we can get back to our main screen. And now we want to go over sending some text messages. Okay. Probably a term you hear about a lot. How do I text? Well, I'm going to go over it real simply for you. So. First of all, we text in the messaging app. It's an envelope with a little yellow uh, piece of paper in it. We're just going to tap on it. This is our messaging section right here. And so when you want to send a text message, you go to the upper right corner and click on this is a little piece of paper with a pen. And if we tap that, it will set us up to send a new message. So first thing you want to do is type in the phone number you want to send it to. Now notice the keyboard right now, all we see are letters. So how do I get to the numbers? If you come down to the bottom left, it says one, two, three, and symbol. If we tap this, it will switch the keyboard to show us all our numbers as well as our at symbol, special characters, things like that. So here we can just type in the phone number. 213, and we'll put in Lincoln's number. So 55532. Five, four. Sometimes the, the number will show up because maybe you, you've sent something to that person before. So if you want, instead of having to type the whole number, you can just tap on the name right here. And then it will just show up right at the top there. And if you didn't want to send the message to multiple people, you can type in another phone number where it says right here. Just keep typing in the number. After that, you need to, to tap. And again, I'm, I'm using a pen here. I just want to point out this is called a stylus pen. But you can just use your finger to do everything that I'm doing. In fact, I'll switch to the, the finger because I don't want to confuse you. So where it says enter message, first thing you want to do is tap right there. And then you want to start typing your message. Good morning. And right here is we have what's called, um, I for, I'm sorry, I forgot the terminology for it, but this is going to try to predict uh, maybe your next word. So if the word you're trying to type comes up, you can just tap it and it will fill in just right there. Okay. So Lincoln, good morning. That's the message. Oh, we don't want to hit baby. So if you hit something you don't want to, you don't want to put in there, you're going to tap this little X right here and that will backspace it out. Once you're finished. You can go ahead and hit the envelope and this will send it. Okay. Now this phone isn't actually active, so it's not going to send it right now, but basically um, that's what it looks like when the message is sent. Now another little, uh, a little tip is if you want to make um, the size of the words bigger, um, you're going to use your volume buttons right on the side here. If you press volume up, the text will get larger. Okay, so we're going to press that button and the text will get larger. I think this is probably the biggest it can go right here. See that? So you press the volume up. If we press volume down, then it gets smaller. You see that? So you can control the size of the text. If you need it bigger, make it as big as you need it. Okay? This will only work in certain sections of your phone. So it won't make all the words bigger, but in the text messaging app, the words will get bigger. Okay? And now... Notice this little arrow pointing to the left. If we tap there, it will take us back to this is our main texting screen. Okay. So simply, if you want to text someone, if you don't see the person you want to send a message to, then you have to create a new one and put in the phone number by pressing that button. But let's say you want to send Lincoln another message, then you can just tap right on that. And then we would tap where it says enter message. So notice it says enter message, but there's no keyboard. To get the keyboard to come up, you just have to press where it says enter message, and then the keyboard will pop up. Once you finish, we're going to go back home. So that is essentially uh, how to send a text message. Okay, something else really important that I forgot to mention is this. So, um, 
if you let the phone sit for like a couple of seconds or a minute, the screen will go off like this. So the phone isn't off. It's the phone is in what's called a sleep mode. So all we have to do is just press that button right here. This is our power slash our sleep button. If we just press it, then the screen will come right back on, you see. And so at this point, and it goes off quick, so you gotta be fast. We're gonna press it again. So if you wanna get past this, just slide your finger across the phone. That's it. Let's try it one more time. Sleep, turn it back on, and just slide your finger across the screen. That's all you have to do to unlock it. That's how you get into it, okay? So let's see. Um, We've gone over just about everything. I'll show you how to take a picture. That's also kind of a simple thing, but you should have a camera on the front. But if you don't, you want to go to apps and look for a camera. Now the way you, let's say if what you want, it wasn't on this screen, you could slide. Just take your finger and drag it across the screen. So that's just dragging it across and that's what makes it move from screen to screen. Drag it again. And then you would tap camera and then now we're in the camera section and so if we want to take a picture of this little dot right here we just need to press this button at the bottom here you see that and it snaps a picture and then if you want to see the picture right after you can just tap right here and then that will show you the picture okay and it's also giving us some instruction on how to do some other things we're going to cancel that for now okay now notice on the screen right now, all you see is the picture. You don't see any options. Well, if you want to bring up the options, because there are options, just tap the screen. And see, now we have some options up here. Let's say you wanted to delete it. Tap the screen, and there's a trash can right here. We're going to tap the trash can and press OK. And now that picture is gone. And now we can get out of that by pressing this big button right here, take us back to our home screen. Okay, so the very last thing I'm going to show you is how to answer a phone call. So when someone does call you, uh, what will happen is the phone will pop up like such. Here we go. And so what you're going to do is if you want to answer it, you have to put your finger on here and drag it this way. If you don't want to answer it, you can put your finger on the red dot and drag it. I was, that was a little tough with one finger. It's going to be easier when you, when you have two hands. But let's try it one more time here. Take it off speaker. Probably a good idea. Okay. So again, um, you're going to just put your finger on there and drag it and that's how you will reject it. So it's the same process, sorry about that. Same process if you want to answer it, put your finger on the bubble and you're gonna drag it uh, the opposite direction. All right, so this has been the Galaxy X3 Basics, first time user's guide. Again, our objective in this video was just to go over the basics, phone calls, text messages, turning it on and off, how to charge it, um, simple things like that. We do have another video that is the Galaxy, the Galaxy S3 for beginners. And so that is like the next step from this video, which will teach you uh, more advanced things. So like there's some options up here you definitely need to know about. Um, there's the apps, there's the buttons. So we really go over all those steps in that next video. So make sure you check that out. We will have it set up so as soon as this video ends, if you don't touch anything, that one will just begin to play. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, make sure you like the video. There's a little thumb at the bottom of the video you can click. That is you saying, hey, I like the video. It was helpful. You can also subscribe. There should be a button that says subscribe that you can click. And then we'll uh, send you uh, updates when we post new videos. So thank you for watching. We're also on Facebook, facebook.com slash h 2 tech videos make sure you like our page on there as well and take care and good luck in using your galaxy s3